Okay, here's an update on the window farm. And we're going to show you uh, one, the dill up here is surviving. It's not doing great, but it's surviving at least. And we have strawberries starting to grow. I'm thrilled, finally, some fruit. The tomato plant is there, but oh well, whatever. Um, now, one thing I wanted to show you guys is here's uh, what I've been doing to kind of provide a greenhouse effect for my new seedlings just the bottom of water bottles and they've been doing great. Of course I also put way more seedlings in there than I probably needed to. Also I took my basil which I showed you guys last time and I am rooting it here. I got some mint from a friend so I'm doing that. These are the lettuces that you would have seen before. I've just moved them over. Um, here's marigold from the other window farm which is not acting like a window farm right now. And this is a strawberry plant from the ones in the window. We're just trying to get it to root. I think it's doing okay. And here's a pineapple, just for fun. See, it's got roots growing. So, we'll s I think you can see that. Could you see that? Yeah, okay. So, that's just sitting right there in the edge. It's getting dry while it gets its roots. And I don't know, maybe it'll be a failed experiment eventually. Uh, this is the strawberry plant that had been in my other daughter's window farm. And here is the insanely noisy drain. I looked up online and there is a kind of siphon that a guy came up with for aquariums. I haven't really seen this in the literature for uh, aquaponics or hydroponics. But here it is. And what happens is the water comes up through there and then goes down and since the intake is under the water you're not ingesting air there is a tiny little air hole here in the top I don't know if you guys can see that good and I don't know if I've got the right size hole I'm just this is my first attempt and then I put uh, Teflon tape at the bottom so that it would be the right diameter so I'm going to try to replace this here real quick without killing too many of my plants. Whoops, there went a little lettuce. So taking out that guy and then before my floor floods, I'm going to go put this guy in. If I can find the hole. Okay, come on. You're down there somewhere. Boom, there it is. And you can hear how much quieter that is much quieter. So I'll snip this so that I can kind of put it in there to finish it off and let me go rescue my plants from me being me. And that is much quieter than the thing that I had in there before. And I'm excited. Uh, we still have the air of the bubbles coming out from the aeration and we have the noise of the air pump and then there's a tiny little noise from water dripping and, and stuff, but this is much calmer than my poor daughter has had the opportunity to endure for the last uh, uh, period of time. Have a great day!